So I woke up this morning and decided that I needed to change my life. And by change my life, I mean rearrange my room. Now I am the type of person who needs to switch things up every once in a while in order to keep my life interesting. I went through a phase where I was dyeing the underside of my hair a different color all the time. Um, I only dye it black now. I can't get a haircut because I am currently trying to grow my hair out. So all of the things that I would normally change, I cannot. What's the next best thing? My room. The last big change I did concerning my room was back in July when I did my whole room transformation and I'm still keeping it pretty much the same way. It is just, it's been a couple months and I'm due to switch things up. I'm feeling a little bit antsy. I mostly just wanna move some furniture around and then I did get some new bookshelves. I just got back from Target. I was gonna film while I was there, except it's a Saturday, so it was extremely busy. There were too many people there that by the time I was leaving, I hated everything. So that wasn't gonna work out. I've already got things started a bit. This was where I had this desk. I've had it in that spot probably since I got it for my 15th birthday. So I decided to switch it up and put it here under my window. Now these shelves were what was under my window, but I never really loved them. They were always kind of temporary for me. They're actually supposed to be two vertical shelves that go on top of one another. I turned them horizontal and put them like that, but they're not supposed to be like that. So they don't like, it's not very secure. So I don't know if I'm gonna get rid of these or find somewhere else to put them. I also want to change up this corner. Um, We'll see, we'll see. So I think I'm just gonna start with bringing my shelves in. I was originally only planning on setting up those shelves and kind of switching them out, but I have a feeling that I'm going to get so into it that I'm gonna end up reorganizing all of the shelves in my room. So we'll just have to see, we'll just have to see where the journey takes us. shelves took embarrassingly a lot more out of me than I would like to admit. I was Bob the building late into the night last night. So once I got that done, I simply just needed to go to bed. But they are all assembled now and in place. Let me show you. Obviously, everything is still everywhere right now because I did absolutely no organization. This is where I've placed these shelves. So those little holes, those little holes at the bottom are actually supposed to be up top. Like this back part, I flipped upside down and I did do that on purpose, believe it or not. I don't understand the point of the hole being up top. I don't know what that's for. Hopefully it's nothing important. Actually, I think it's to bracket it into the wall but we don't do that here. So I put it down at the bottom because I will be able to cover it with books. If it's up at the top, you're still gonna see that. Yes, there is a Christmas blanket on my bed right now because having dogs in a white comforter does not, doesn't work well. But over here, I put this cube shelf. I don't know if I'll end up getting another one to put on top because I don't know if that fills the space enough. But yeah, that's my little cube guy and that's the mirror and these are my dogs. Like I said, this was not originally supposed to be an entire shelf reorganization, but now that I'm here, I'm thinking it just might be. Like, I think I'm going to take all of these books out of here and just reorganize everything. So yeah, I think my goal right now is going to be to take all my books out, put them into piles, reorganize them. The last time I reorganized my shelves, I kind of split things up. Like I split authors up, I split genres up. I kind of did it randomly. Sorry, I had to move because the lighting and it's still not better. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, I put things kind of randomly everywhere and I think it's time to put it back, so. All right, so this is where we're at. It looks 
like I made absolutely no progress. But there is a method. There's a method to this madness. I'm thinking in these two shelves, I'm going to put my fantasy books. I'm gonna put everything together. I'm putting all fantasy together, all the authors together, etc. Because I did not have it like that the last time. And I don't really think I liked that. I also just have random little piles everywhere. I think in these cubbies, I'm going to put all of my like thriller, horror, mystery type books, or I'm going to put like my weird literary fiction books, which one of my favorite genres. Those are either gonna go here or in this big shelf, which I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this yet. I also have my cart and I think I am gonna keep it a TBR cart. I think that's where I'm gonna put newer books. I just need to start putting things places and seeing how I feel about them. to the point in my organizational journey where I begin to hate every single thing I do and this happens every time every time I reorganize my room or I reorganize my shelves there's a good five minutes where I regret ever starting it in the first place there's just these couple minutes where I hate every single thing I've done and in my mind I'm like you were better off not have even starting this at all so I'm there right now um, got some progress here. Originally put all of those books in the shelves under my TV. I was like, this is going to be my fantasy shelf. I put them all in there and I absolutely hated it. So I have them there for now. And now I need to figure out what I'm going to do with those two shelves. <sighs> so I think I just need to sit and like look around at everything. Like literally sit stationary and don't move and just let the ideas flow if there's anything flowing. I don't know, we'll see what happens. don't have the title showing because those are books I don't really care about okay okay I think I'm done and I think I actually really like it which is weird because usually when I rearrange things it takes a couple days for me to start liking it it like it always just feels off at first like it needs to sink in on me but I think I think I love it however I'm not going to show you yet I have a couple things coming in the mail that I want to put out in my room that I want to put in my room I have some books coming that I want to show you guys so I think I'm going to wait till those things come in the mail it's only like a day or two and then we will do our finalized tour our updated bookshelf tour I don't know I'm excited I actually really like it I hate to leave you on a cliffhanger, but it's not really because you'll see it now. Look at us. Look at me and Olive in our matching stripes. Do we look alike? It's a couple days later. Most of my things have come in the mail that I was waiting for. Let me show you. First off, I got Powerless by Lauren Roberts. This book, super popular right now. It just went from independently published to traditionally published so i do have the hardback she's a she's thick like she's a thick girl um but this is 
going to be in one of my next videos, so keep an eye out. Also from Amazon, I got these crates. And guys, I knew they were going to be small, but I did not expect them to be this small. For reference, these are the normal sized ones, and uh, this is the size of the one I got. I'm not necessarily complaining because I still love these crates. I love these crates for organization, putting them on shelves. They're cheap, they're from Amazon, they're super cute. Also, the measurements were well and clear there. Um, I just have no concept of measurement. So whenever this said like three inches, um, that realistically told me nothing. So I ended up with these little babies. I will still find somewhere to put them on my desk, but I will most likely be getting more of these ones, the bigger ones. I just, I love these. Amazon. Now this, this is what I've been waiting for. This is the Holy Bible. How about the fact that I didn't even realize this was actually supposed to resemble the Bible until I had it in my hands? Um, but this is the script to the show of Fleabag. If you don't know, Fleabag is a show on Amazon Prime and it is genuinely one of my favorite things in the entire world. It is brilliant. It's a masterpiece. Phoebe Waller-Bridge is a genius. She is the writer and the star of the show. The show is actually based off of a one woman play that she also stars in, amazing. But the show itself is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. I have watched it multiple times now. If you have not watched it, you need to go watch it. But this contains all of the scripts of each episode of the show. There's only two seasons, which is very depressing, and there's six episodes in each season. So there are 12 episode scripts in this book, but there is also commentary and notes from Miss Phoebe Waller-Bridge. I'm going to read this. I'm actually already halfway through. I'm on to the second season already. I'm going to read this. I'm going to display it. I'm going to cherish it forever. And then this also came in the mail today. I got the sequel to One Dark Window, Two Twisted Crowns. Super excited to finally read this. I'm pretty sure it's only a duology, so this is the last one. I also do have one more book coming, but it's not here yet, and I don't know when it's going to come. I'll give you a hint. It is the first book of a very, 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 very popular series and I ordered it from the UK, so if you even care. Um, but that's it for my little haul, and I think I'm finally ready. I think I'm finally ready to show you what I've done with my shelves. All right, this is what I ended up doing for these shelves under my TV. There's a lot of empty space in my shelves and such, and that means I have room for more books. That's the most important thing. This is what I did here. I really really think it turned out so cute. I'll be able to change these out and decorate these however, but this is how I have it for right now. Here I have Song of Achilles and Circe by Madeline Miller. I want to get into more Greek retellings, so once I get more of those books, I'll put them all together and they'll probably take up their own shelf, but for right now they're right there. I have a pair of glasses. I still have a bunch of like pumpkin-y stuff out, even though I know Halloween's over, but Thanksgiving in November is still pumpkin season, okay? The pumpkins can stay out. I'm not decorating for Christmas yet. Um, and then I have a cute little candle. Right below that, I have one of those crates. And these are a bunch of books that I like didn't really know what to do with. Books that I didn't think necessarily fit anywhere super great. So I just did that. I turned them around and I think it looks good because this is like a light colored shelf. Um, and then I have my little moon. That's a light. I haven't charged it in forever, so it doesn't light up anymore. And then these are just a couple of books that I think look good together and that I wanted to display. I have Betty Cleopatra and Frankenstein, two of my favorite books that I've read this year, and then Latvana and Bones and All. And then underneath here, I have another cute little stack. I love the way this stack looks. I have My Year of Rest and Relaxation, Big Swiss, Bunny, and Yellow Face. They're all like pink and yellow. What a vibe. And then again, I didn't know what to do with these two. These are two books that I want to display. I just didn't quite know what to do with them yet, so they're temporarily there. And then I have some Legos. And then I have Legos. These two little candles that I showed in a room transformation video, they're just from Amazon. The bag. I don't know if that's where I'm gonna keep it yet, but I am still reading it, so I'm not gonna like put it away yet. On this shelf, I don't know. There's really no logical reason why in my mind these books go together, but in my mind they go together. So I just have some like YA books. I think that's why the it's red white. YA-ish books. And then I have my two Taylor Jenkins read, read books, Daisy Jones and the Six and Seven Husbands, which those are the only two books by her I've read. And then of course I just sat my little Clemmy right there. Um, On this shelf, again, really no rhyme or reason why those books go together, but I put them there. And then this is just a little cubby with random things. Nothing on that shelf. These two shelves stayed fairly the same. 
I have not touched this shelf in a really long time and I think I'm going to keep it like this because I said in my last shelf tour video that this entire shelf just represents an entire era of reading for me. Like it, these are all books that I read in like early 2010s, like YA dystopian, obviously Hunger Games. This entire shelf is just iconic. Like these are all books, John Green. These are just books that I read in middle school, early high school, and it's like a time capsule. It's gonna stay that way. And then over here, this is the exact same shelving unit as this. You can get a little door to put on it, so that's what I did. Up here, I did not change. These books just go together, okay? These books just go together. Maybe not A Certain Hunger, but A Little Life, Being Lolita, My Dark Vanessa, Lil these just, these books are depressing and sad, and they belong there. That's also my dog who is dead rest in peace. This is the same thing. I just have jewelry, a candle, perfume. Didn't change that. This I changed. I put my newer Akatar books here. I have the old ones too. I still need to get paperback, Frost and Starlight, and Silver Flames. And then this down here I did not change. These are all random books that I don't care to display. Moving on. Now this is what I did to my desk. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this is where my desk was. It has been here since I got it for my birthday, however many years ago. And now it's here. And I love having my desk here. I love having my desk right next to my bed. It is so much easier to reach stuff, to plug my phone in. Um, and yes, that is me telling you how lazy I am, but it's amazing. I should have done this sooner. Anyway, I just have some random little decor. These books are important to me right now. Don't mind that, etc. Random things will probably pile up with books as I get more. My bed is at the same place. And then that brings me to my other new shelf. I... I'm obsessed with the way this looks. I think I did such a good job. And if you disagree, don't let me know. Up top, I have more Legos, another little pumpkin. That is my galaxy projector that if you watch my videos and you see at night, all the lights on my ceiling, that comes from that. Another candle. And then here I just put, oh, okay. These are all of my thrillers, mysteries, horror, weird vibes. Books. I had one weird vibes shelf and now it has turned into the weird vibes cube and I still kept them Kind of rainbow. I think they look so good. There's that one all my red orange a couple green blues These black ones These darker books and then the white lightish beige off-white Those books as for my tbr cart. It's not really super aesthetic or decorated i had it all decorated for fall but obviously now i have to switch it up i'm still gonna keep it a tbr cart like i'm gonna put newer books here books i have to read yet and then i think i'm gonna wait until i decorate for christmas to actually really decorate this again i just stuck powerless up there this is one of those amazon crates it holds all my annotating journaling supplies and then i just have fourth wing and the goldfinch with a candle down there because i need to read those and then lastly i have my big tall shelf. Like I said, extra space, more books. I'm not mad about it. Up at this top shelf, I kind of, this is also kind of random, but these are all kind of non-fiction-y, psychology, random assortment of books up there. I don't really have an explanation for that shelf. And then this shelf, I think this shelf looks so cool. These are like black and red. And then a lot of these are just like books that I have the first and second one of. This is a duology. These are series, but I only have first and second books of them. That's the dark shelf, the black and red shelf. And then I just stuck one of those candles there, these little clips. And then of course I have my SJM shelf. I have a little dinosaur. I have no idea where that's from. My original Agatar books, Throne of Glass, Crescent City. And of course there's room for the third one. And then underneath that one, I have just another fantasy shelf. I have the Folk of Air series, The Serpent in the Wings of Night. Again, all of these books are kind of randomly placed together, but they're all the same size. So I just, I love the way that those stacked on top of each other. I threw two Twisted Crowns in next to One Dark Window. Just for the vibe, I'm going to take it out and put it on my TBR cart, but to get the vision. A couple other fantasies. I still need to get A Curse for True Love. I'm getting it. So that is the last shelf with books on it. The fact that that has me out of breath is mildly concerning um anyways that was my updated shelf tour this was the product of my spur of the moment decision to get some new shelves and completely rearrange everything but i'm so happy that i did because i genuinely love the way everything looks right now doing this has 100 satiated my need 
to change something. That was the reason I started this. I was getting antsy, I was getting bored, I needed to switch things up. Now I can hold off on getting a new piercing or getting a new tattoo that I didn't really want just for the sake of doing something to myself. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any suggestions, let me know nicely. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. I hope you decide to stick around and I'll see you in the next one.